In this video lesson, we are going to look at how to copy and move text within a document. Although it's primarily about copying and moving text, this feature is exactly the same for objects and pictures and tables. It's the same technique and skills that we use. I've got a document on the screen and I just want to add a title to this document. I want the title to go above the main text. So if I click there, you'll notice that I can't get my insertion point up above the text. It doesn't go there. And it's because that's the margin area. We'll discuss more about that in later videos. So you've got to create a space. And we do that by clicking in front of the first word and then pressing the Enter key to create a new paragraph. And watch what happens with the first line of text. It jumps down to make space for the new line. I can then move my cursor back up into that space. I'm just going to undo that and show you that again with oops, the show hide non-printing characters on. You can see there's nothing above the letter T. That's the margin area. So if I click there and press the Enter key, it inserts a paragraph for me and moves the rest of the text down. So I'm going to click now into that blank paragraph to put my title in. So I'm going to put all about foxes. And then I'm going to press the enter key to come down a line and put and notice all the rest of the text drops down out of the way. And then I'm going to put by Ron Taylor. Okay, so we've got all about foxes, Taylor. Now I'm going to talk about formatting in a later video, but I'm going to switch off the show hide and then format this text so that it's centered. I need to do that just so I can show you a little feature that's relevant to copying and pasting. There's our titling. And I've made a mistake. I've decided that I don't want by Ron Taylor to be at the top of the document. I want it to be at the bottom of the document, underneath the text. So what I'm going to do is select that line of text using the margin area and clicking once. That selects that whole line. I want to move that. I want to cut it away from that place and put it somewhere else. I want to cut it away and paste it somewhere else. I'm giving you clues there as to the features that we're going to use. We're going to move it by using cut and paste. And here are the icons. The scissors cut. The clipboard icon pastes and paste. It's a two-stage operation, or three-stage really. The first stage is to cut the text away from where it is. And what happens when you do that is that Word puts that information on a clipboard. It keeps it in memory to be used. It hasn't disappeared for good, it's stored it inside a clipboard, which is why this icon looks like a clipboard. It stays on that clipboard until I decide do with it. I want to paste that text down at the bottom, but let's just switch on the show hide again to show you that the last bit of text is here, but I've got a blank paragraph underneath, so I can paste my text there. If I delete that so that I haven't got that there, then again I can't click underneath the text. So I would need to click at the end of dog Press the Enter key to create that space for me. Now then, we've cut. We've put the insertion point where we want the text to go. The next step is to paste. And there's the text. So we cut it from here. We decided where it was going to go, made sure the insertion point was at the right place. And then we pasted. Just notice this icon that's appeared here. It's called the Paste Options icon. If I hover over it and click the little drop down arrow, it gives us some options to how we want to paste this text. The default is to keep source formatting. Did you notice that Byron Taylor is in the middle? And that's because I applied some center formatting to the title. It's remembered that formatting. It's brought it down and remembered it. If you want to keep that formatting, then that's absolutely fine. But if you don't want to, you can match the destination formatting and it will take on the formatting of wherever you paste it. 
in this case left aligned. So you can paste and keep the formatting or you can paste and match the formatting to the destination. Let's have a look at that again. We'll do it now with the main title. We select the text that we want to move. We cut it. It stores it on the clipboard. We can then decide where we want that text to be. Make sure the insertion point is in the right place and then paste. Then choose do we want to keep the formatting or match the formatting. That's cut and paste to move text. But it doesn't have to go at the top or the bottom of the document. Say I want that text all about foxes to go here after the lazy dog. I can paste the text here just by clicking on the paste icon. But you'll be shouting at me, you didn't cut it, you didn't cut it. You don't need to. Once something is on the clipboard, it stays there until you put something else on the clipboard. So I can paste this as many times as I like, in as many different places as I like, until I copy something else or cut something else. Until we basically put something else onto the clipboard. I'm just going to reset the document using undo, which is what we looked at last time. So we've looked at using cut and paste to move the text, but we can also use copy and paste to duplicate the text. Let's try that. Again, I'll, I'll work with Byron Taylor. Select that line. Now, instead of cutting it, I want to copy the text. Copying it doesn't seem to do anything, but it does. It copies that information onto the clipboard and it keeps it there for me. So you might look as though nothing's happened, but it has. It's gone onto the clipboard. I then choose where I want that text to go, in this case the bottom of the document. Make sure your insertion point is where you want the text to go and then paste using the paste icon. And it's pasted the information there, but look it's still at the top. We've copied it. We haven't moved it, we've copied it. You get the same options whether you want to match the destination formatting or keep the source formatting. Let's try that again. In this time all about foxes. Select the text, copy it because we want to duplicate it. Tell the computer where we want that text to be. In this instance at the bottom of the document. Make sure your insertion point is there and then paste. And there it is. Choose your pasting options and it's still there at the top. We've copied it. Now what you can also do is move or copy text between documents. If you've got another document open, you can use the window button that we've looked at previously to switch to a new document and then paste. So I can move text between documents in that way. Window, go back to the original document. Let's try cut this time. We'll take this line by Ron Taylor. In fact, no, let's take a paragraph of text. Taking a whole paragraph, so I've double clicked the margin to get a paragraph. I'm going to cut it from here, so it's gone, less text. Switch to a new document, the one that's already open. Make sure the cursor insertion point is in the right place, and then paste. So I'm moving text between documents, and you can copy between documents as well. So that's copying and moving text using the cut copy paste icons but just for completeness we've also got those tools on the edit menu where we can cut and copy and paste and just notice the keyboard shortcuts control x to cut control c to copy and control v to paste that's the one that confuses people control v to paste don't do control p by mistake because P prints.